Can you see that special frame shape on this Victor Drive X9X here? It's a pretty cool frame shape if you ask me. But before I start, thank you to Central Sports for letting me test out this racket. Remember to use my code CKYW for additional discounts when purchasing with them. The Drive X is one of Victor's newer badminton racket series and is designated as an all-round racket series, with the 9X as one of their most flagship rackets. In terms of pro players, I remember seeing Gracia Poli and Apriani Rahayu playing with the 9X. It will be interesting to see if City find their Silva Ramadanti, who is currently Apriani Rahayu's partner, that recently moved to Victor on the 1st of March will also be playing with the 9X too. The Drive X 9X is quite a mouthful to pronounce, but looking at Victor's latest list of Drive X rackets, see? But looking at Victor's latest list of Drive X rackets, it seems that the 9X is the only racket with two X's. In terms of looks, obviously the twist in the racket frame at the 5 and 7 o'clock region is unique from the racket, but I've not come across something like this for a while now, and the last I remember of something similar like this was the Carlton Razor 1.2 or 1.3. Pretty unique in their time, but sadly doesn't play as well as they looked in my opinion. The blue colour difference from Victor's official photos on their website and what I'm looking at here is actually quite stark. I originally thought the racket was very dark navy or black, but when it arrived, I was surprised to find it was this blue and matched incredibly well with the blue aerobite strings that I have on it. I also do like the holographic blue decals and the pink streaks on the frame and shaft. It does make the 9X look futuristic and cool. For stats, I measured this Drive X9X's shaft diameter at 6.8 millimeters alongside a length of 21.5 centimeters. The shaft is connected to a free core handle, which comes in at 17.5 centimeters. For those new to the channel, a free core handle is Victor's proprietary plastic molded handle, which is designed to help the racket shaft flex a little bit better, which I personally do like. In terms of racket frame, it has a height of 24 centimeters and a width of 18 and a half centimeters. This is also coupled with a top half recess frame profile for the 9X. However, because of the twist within the racket frame, the frame thickness of the 9X varies. Normal sections of the frame on the 9X measured in at 9.9 millimeters, which is actually pretty thin, and the twisted 5 and 7 o'clock regions only at 8.8 millimeters. That's actually the thinnest section of a badminton racket frame that I've measured thus far on this channel. Have you come across a thinner frame section than the 9X? Let me know down in the comment section below. In the meantime, if you want to protect your precious badminton racket frames, go to ckyw.com forward slash shop and check out the invisible premium racket protection tape for peace of mind protection there. Additionally, this model here is a 4UG5 and strung with my usual setup of aerobite strings at 27 by 29 pounds. At 4U, the 9X is rated to 28 pounds, which is slightly lower than the other top end Victor rackets, such as the Thruster Rugers, the Thruster F Enhanced, and even the Aura Speed 90K. For playing field, this thing is fast. I would consider this 9X to be even balanced or even leaning towards the slightly headlight category for me, which explains why it's fast. Lengthwise, the Drive X 9X is the same as Victor's other usual top end rackets at 625mm, unlike the head heavy Thruster Ruger 2 that I reviewed here recently, which came in at slightly longer at 680mm. I found a 9X to be really easy to play with, and you can also get away with quite a fair bit. It's certainly a very pleasant doubles racket, which is pretty steady, predictable, and reliable. Because of its unique frame shape and the twist, the swing doesn't feel as smooth as other rackets, such as your Nexus Nanoflare 800, which had a thin frame and a fully recessed frame profile. But this slightly different swing feel certainly did not slow down the 9X at all. For those of you who are concerned with how much power you're going to get from this, unfortunately this 9X won't be giving you lots of raw power as you expect from a head heavy racket. As it's lighter in the head, you'll have to work that little bit harder for that raw power. If you've got good timing, you won't struggle for power. But for those of you who are concerned about getting good length on your clears and lifts, don't worry, this 9X got you covered well on that front. That raw power that you'll need to work harder on is only on that downward power smash. Everything else is easy. I however did feel that the grip felt slightly bigger than usual, although it's rated for its usual G5. I normally have one layer of wrap or grap on top of it, but it did feel the original grip is quite squidgy and thick, but definitely felt bigger than the usual G5s. In many ways, this Drive X9 
X reminds me a lot of Yonex's ArcSaber 7 Pro, although they both feel slightly different. Both I would consider even balanced to slightly headlight rackets, pretty pliable and not very stiff, although the 7 Pro feels smoother. Both very easy rackets to play with, also being dependable and reliable. Inevitably, many of you will be asking how does this 9X feel compared to the Aura Speed 90K? And the answer is the 90K is stiffer and provides a sharper response, which I personally prefer. And I do agree with Victor in saying that this Drive X9X is a great all-rounder racket. Let's just hope they leave the X's out of future generations Drive X rackets. I'll see you in the next one.